Hi there, I'm Matt with K15T and we're going to look at the Confluence Editor. We'll start with the basics, so where things are and what they do, and then we'll talk a bit about formatting, so bolding your text and creating tables and working with links. Then we'll look at macros, the super simple yet super powerful part of creating a Confluence page. And then finally, we'll look at layouts, which we can use to move our content around so people can find the information they need. <sighs> do you smell that? That's that new, clean, empty editor smell. If you're new to the editor, that might be a little bit daunting, but trust me, it's a lot of fun to use. Over here on the right-hand side is the area where we can look at some pre-made templates. There are a bunch of already made templates that you can browse through and see what they might look like. Also, you might already have a document that you created in Word or Google Docs. You can use the import feature here to bring that content right into your page to get started quickly. Maybe you're ready to create something brand new, in which case I'm gonna close this panel. So here is our big empty page and we're going to create something right here using the toolbar. This is the bar full of tools along the top of your page. Now there are a bunch of great formatting options here, but first I wanna point out the MVPs of the toolbar and that's the undo and redo button. Yes, I use them every day, you probably will as well. And if you hover over either of these buttons, you can see that there are shortcut keys for using them. In fact, there's shortcut keys for many of the things on the toolbar, so just hover over those to see how to use them. Also on the right hand side, I can see which people are editing the page. Right now it's just me. I can use the find and replace feature to find some text in the page and even replace it with something automatically. And I can use the restrictions feature here to maybe restrict the page. So maybe I wanna work on it alone at first before I unrestrict it so that everybody on my team can collaborate on it with me. And then finally, I can come here and add an emoji that sums up what the page is about a header image that displays across the top of the page and the title of the page itself. Now, this emoji and title display throughout Confluence, whether people are navigating or searching, so make sure they make sense when compared to all the content that you put on this page. So, formatting content, that's why we're in an editor, right? So there's a lot of things we can do with the toolbar. So for example, this, I want to be a heading. This is a major section, so I can come up here and make this a heading level one. And then also I want this to stand out, so I'm going to bold it. I can also add italics and a bunch of other formatting options on my text. I can also change the positioning of things, so maybe I want this to be centered. I might also want to add some color here, so I'm going to go ahead and, hmm, more colors, grab a color here and Okay, I don't really love the way this looks. Remember how I said I was going to use undo? That's maybe a better direction. Another thing I can add right here is a link. So maybe I wanna add a link to the home page in my space. Really quickly, I drop that link in there. Boom, bam, good to go. Also, I'd like to add an image. I have a great image on my computer that I think will be perfecto for this. There it is. I've dropped my image in and that is just a little bit too big. I wanna bring it over here and I am gonna move that to the left. Also, I'm gonna add some alt text here to describe what it is or to help people who have visual impairments. Also, I'm going to add a table here. So I'll go up here, hit the table button. I can do a bunch with this table here. So maybe I want to come down here and add a new row to add some more content here. Or maybe I want to come to this column and you know what? I just, I don't need this column anymore. We can do all sorts of things here and I can use this option to resize this. So I can make it wide or really, really wide depending on what looks the best for the page that I'm making. We've added some formatting here, which is cool and great, but I want to do something special. So I'm going to come over to this insert menu here. And here you see all sorts of different things that I could add. So I want to add a table of contents here because I know I'm going to have a bunch of different headers on this page and I want people to be able to navigate it. So if I start to search for table of contents, and go ahead and click this and insert what is called a macro. Now a macro is this cool little thing that you can put right on a page which adds additional functionality to that page or even creates content dynamically. They are super cool, incredibly powerful and makes this much more than just your basic document. Now take for example this table of contents macro we've added. But essentially when people view this page right in this spot where I put this macro right here, there's going to be a table of contents that just renders automatically. Now, that's not the only kind of macro that I can use. I can use all sorts of different macros. I can also use a little key command called the slash command. 
If I start to type a slash here, I can also insert a macro really, really quickly. So maybe let's do an info panel here. I can easily change the way that it looks to really make sure that it's telling people the best message possible. Finally, I really want to control the way my content is falling on my page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the layouts area here and I've added a new split layout. Now I could do three columns, I could do maybe, uh, I'll go with that one. So what I want to do is I'm going to move this content up to the one side and I'm going to move my table of contents macro to the other. You can see it's the same content, but I've split up the way it's formatted. And then I can have the remainder of my content in a single large column here, or I can add an additional layout and really change up the way that it looks. So that's how to get started, format content, work with macros, and lay out your content in the Confluence Editor. Those are just the basics though. There's so much more you can do. So jump into another video in this course as we continue to explore how to use the Confluence Editor to share what you do best.